his own story was as curious as all right so we had uh dave toys and comics with, with cuz mick over here toy detox fresh out the pack check me out though he got some toy beers joint where y'all sleeping you know so me i want that I want that x23 yeah you know we got some giant man pieces over here oh you know what y'all what y'all what y'all looking for we are uh, yeah y'all want that right there too right we got some good stuff man oh y'all going crazy right for for him okay we got some Got some pools on deck. Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. Check me out, man. Give me a holler. Push out the pack. Oh, hold on. You got some more stuff, too, over here. Yeah, man. It's full of all kind of stuff, man. Toys and... You like that kind of stuff? You're hunting right now. It's in Fayetteville. Some good stuff, man. Look at that. That's the tourist section. You got comics over there on that side. Peace. A couple of my favorite figures here, man. You see the uh, Storm from the X-Men series and also... The Luke Cage from the SDCC Thunderbolt set, man. It's a pretty pretty good bunch of characters. Also, the Scarlet Spider-Man and the uh, Hawkeye from the Hitmonkey series. That, that, that was a pretty slept-on wave there, man. Um, you know, in that regards to the SDCC, and that was pretty much the first... First time um, that we were introduced to the Luke Cage mold, which has been used with Hyperion and also the Drax figure, um, and also the the new Century figure as well. So it's a pretty pretty good pretty good figure, man. Yeah, not only do I collect Marvel Legends, but I also have a sweet spot for DC classic figures. What you see here is Solomon Grundy Bath and also the two-pack Lex Luthor. Uh, Lex was very hard to uh, track down. You can find him on eBay anywhere from between $25 and $45. The Solomon Grundy Bath anywhere from $60 to $100, depending on um, if you can find him complete. You know, but pretty solid figures, man. And DC Classic is always managed to give you some crisp, clean figures, man, you know. Not too much detail, but they are very, very solid figures. So here we are with the side of the figures from the Juggernaut bath. You see here, which is the Wolverine. And you notice that the head is a head sculpt. That was created by Matty Porn Todd Rana. Uh, he is a sculptor for Hasbro. And he was the individual behind the Sandman head sculpt from the raft set. He also sculpted this Wolverine head cast you see here. It was a limited run. Uh, this head was intended for the Wolverine within the Juggernaut bath way, but didn't quite make the cut. So he did a limited run and it was going for about $17. And he showed me some love, man, and then sent me a head. I uh, gladly appreciate it. The cigar is even removable as well. But man, my, my skills are not that great, so I, I can't paint that head. But I'll probably get one of these customizers to paint it for me. But it's a pretty, pretty awesome head sculpt, man. I really appreciate it. So again, head sculpt by Matty Poin Tadarana. Another head sculpt that is highly recommended is the head sculpt created by the Casting Cave. So the good folks at the Casting Cave created this wonderful head sculpt, the Wolverine. You see it here in the picture. That picture is courtesy of the one shot that that uh, storm is custom but you see the blue wash in the head there you know that poker face look you see that cowl is from Dakin or Dakin if you see that figure you can just snatch that cowl off and it matched perfectly with the Wolverine figure 
But these two head scopes, man, they're highly sought after right now. Uh, the craze is on for these head scopes. I highly recommend the head scopes. If you're able to get a mold, buy them. Do not hesitate because once they're gone, they're gone. But here again, you, know, you have people that are pretty savvy now. They'll make molds. But it's nothing like having that original mold when it first dropped, you know. Uh, but I rec highly recommend the heads and also the Wolverine figure. It greatly, greatly increases the value of the figure. My hot pick of the month is by my man, Pharaoh Black from Milwaukee. What up, big homie? So that figure you see right there, man, that's that new Iron Fist from the Doctor Strange mm -hmm. wave. And it's a pretty good set of figures, man. Most of the figures were already released from the Book of Ashanti set. But you do get a comic accurate Doctor Strange with the more comic accurate cape. Uh, be sure to pick these figures up. They are hitting Targets and Walmart within the month of October. Here again, man, pretty decent wave. But um, I like the Iron Fist and the uh, Doctor Strange myself. As you see here, this is the Nico Mainru figure. She's a pretty good figure. I think she may be the uh, most sought out the one out the pack. And you have the Darmamu bath as well, so... Hit your local targets, man. These may be available pretty soon. They should be available soon right now. Looking at my hot fig of the month. is really hot figures of the month of uh, in the September. is my Wrecking Crew. You know, Thunderball is the, uh, pretty much the most sought out the character nowadays. He's like eclipsing 80 bucks. With the rest of the figures being reasonably priced around about 25 to $35. But yeah, man. This is Nick with Fresh Out of the Pack. Peace.